So in a previous video, I explained how to export a file from the 38DL Plus into GageView Thickness and then generate reports within GageView Thickness. So I could print out a hard copy report or generate a color grid and print that out. What also is common is exporting directly to Microsoft Excel. That way the data is in an Excel spreadsheet and it can be sent electronically and other people can open that report because now it's in an Excel format. So the first thing you'd want to do is initialize the device. So if you click device and then config, I'm using a 38DL plus and connecting through USB. So I'm going to choose this one and then click add and then click OK. So now the device is initialized. If I click it, you'll see all the files that are on the instrument. So the readings that I saved were to file test2, so that's the one I'm going to be transferring. I'll be showing you how to export directly from the gauge into Excel or CSV. Some customers prefer to bring the file into gauge view thickness first before exporting to Excel. This way there is a saved version of the survey in gauge view thickness that could also then be transferred back to the gauge or transferred to another gauge in the future. If you'd like to do this, I'd suggest watching the video we have on exporting to gauge view thickness, but essentially I would transfer the file test2 into the database example.38p in the lower window, and after the transfer completes, I would then export the survey file to Excel or CSV. So if you click the export in the lower window, you have two options. You can export to CSV or you can export to Excel. So CSV is the fastest way to get the data into Excel. So let me show you that. So it's going to be a drag and drop system. So I'm going to left click the file, hold the left click, and then drag and drop onto CSV. So once the file is done transferring, you get the Excel icon flashing down on the bottom. So now I have all my IDs and I have my thickness readings corresponding to them. But you'll notice everything's in a linear format. And also I saved some waveforms and they didn't transfer when I go to CSV. So let me show you the other way of doing it. So I'm just going to close that. So if I take the file, drag, and drop onto Excel, I now have this Excel export window. So the first thing I have to do is choose where to save the file. So if I click Browse, I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And click Save. So then you can choose either linear or grid. It's a 2D grid file, so I want it to be displayed as a grid. And also I want to include my waveform, so I'm going to check that. So you can also choose how you want to display the LOSs. So LOS stands for loss of signal. So if you missed a reading, maybe you just skipped over it, or you didn't have detection, then you'd get an LOS. Also, if you want to highlight certain cells, and then click OK. So again, once the file is done transferring, I get the Excel icon flashing. So now it's in more of a grid format. And also these ones that are highlighted will actually have A scans corresponding to them. Also I have a waveform tab that shows me my A scans. And I have my gauge setup, transducer setup, etc. So from here, you can do any type of conditional formatting or equations or color coding that you'd like to do within Excel. And then you could send this report to someone else who doesn't have GageView, and they'd be able to open up the report because it's in an Excel format.